Happy Valentine's Day! I got, I, I found out I do have a Valentine today. Pearl. <laughs> uh, Drew and I were sitting there chatting when, when I got home. Um, and of course Buffy, he'll be, yeah, he'll be everybody's Valentine, won't you, Buffs? Yes, yeah, he just wants my cake. You can't have my cake. Pearl gave it to me. But <laughs> we were sitting there chatting and Drew was like, uh, <laughs> he's like, there's an old lady coming up behind my car. <laughs> Thank you, Buffy. I said something about, like, is she going to hit you or something? <laughs> but, uh... Yes. That did happen. Um, I have... I turned on one of my super cool lights today. So that, uh... I could have some light on me, because it's early. And I want, I want to get this uploaded early. Because, um... I have something to say. Here on Valentine's Day. That's about the most poem poetry you're going to get out of me. Um, let's get, I, I, I just want to say, and you've probably, if you've watched my videos for a long time, or even a short period of time, um, but probably more so people who've watched it for longer, I am single. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have an exclusive goat. I have no one. And guess what? I'm fine with that. I am actually very happy, and so is Buffy, because he gets all of my attention. <laughs> oh, now he's going to go screwing it up. But, uh, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with being single. I want that message to get out there today, because it's, I mean, I get to come home, and look, I'm making a video. I wanted to make a video. I sat down. I'm making a video. You know, if I want to, uh... If I want to just get on the internet and download some clown goat porn, it's probably out there. I could look it up. Fine, that's fine. If I want to, if I want to go to sleep, I go to sleep. You know, it's like for the holiday. Uh, I, you know, I get all the candy without the bullshit. <laughs> you know, like I, I do, I do what I want with my time, money, and effort, and I love it. You know, like I don't, I don't need to be. I don't need someone else to complete me. I'm already, you know, I'm already a whole person as I am, and I'm fine with that, you know? Like, I know there's a lot of people out there that say they'd be miserable if they were in my shoes. And I just... I don't know. I don't really... There's no reason to be. Like, I think a lot of people... Oh, and uh, really the reason that this became uh, something that I wanted to talk about was my friend Geek Wisdom. Um, she had a video yesterday that I have no idea if I'm even in screen right now because Buffy is messing me up. Um, <laughs> she created a video yesterday. <laughs> Buff Buffy is underneath the, uh, the camera with his, his ears were behind the, uh, the view screen there. And he was just like looking out at me like, Hey, how's it going? He's happy to have me home. See, this is what I'm talking about. But Geek Wisdom, she created this thing, and it's just like she talks about. There's lots of different kind of love. You know, there's the love of, you know, yourself, for one thing. That's very important. You need that. Um, there's a love of your family. There's a love of your friends. You know, hell, there's the love of, you know, or, you know, the, the uh, maybe not love, but, you know, the uh, the equal admiration between you and, you know, a fairly new acquaintance, you know? Like, there's people that you hardly know. I mean, it's just like Pearl. I hardly know Pearl at all, uh, other than I need to pay her back someday for <laughs> all the baked goods she's dropped off in my, uh, in my mailbox <laughs> over the, you know, year and a half. Have I lived here for a year and a half? You know? So, I, you know, there's, there's lots of different kinds of love or admiration or whatever, whatever you want to call it, and, um, you know, like, I would rather, I would rather focus on what I do have, you know, than lament for what I don't, you know, because I don't even care, you know, like, people just, they don't understand it, they seriously don't understand it when I tell them, like, I wish, 
you know, <laughs> there was a because there's this stigma, especially on Valentine's Day, that if you're lone, if if you don't have anyone for the holiday, you must. Oh my God! Oh, it's so sad. You don't you don't have somebody for Valentine's Day. I feel so sorry for you. I don't want your pity for one thing. Just I don't need it. You know. <laughs> oh, it's you don't have anybody to give us a stupid little little teddy bear to. That's so sad. Oh, my heart my heart cries for you. Like, you can just, you can tell your heart to shut up because it's fine. Like, I understand there's there's some, there's some people who are miserable today. There's, like, all the people who, like Buffy, he's trying, he's trying to get in the way of my message right now. There's all these people who are doing anti-Valentine's Day, you know, and that is the one clear test if you are okay being single. If you think, because there's this group, I believe it's on Facebook that I'm in, and it says, I love being single. That's the name of the group. But you have these people in there that are like, well, I've been through a lot of bad shit in relationships in the past, and you know, just, I I can't put forth the effort to be in love right now, but you're still looking for it, which means you're not happy being single. Stop lying to everybody else, and for especially stop lying to yourself. Just be realistic. You know, and it's just like, I, it really helps to put things in perspective. You know, it's just like, I have my mom, I have my sister, you know, I have my uncle, I have, you know, my nieces, I have my friends, you know, like, I have a lot of people in my life that, you know, love and or care about me. And, you know, like, that's enough. That sustains me. I don't need, like, I know I'm an okay person. Just, you know, just that way. Like, I don't, I don't need any external, <laughs> you know, like, I don't need any external thing to justify myself. I do it just fine on my own. So, you know, if, if you're feeling sad for me here on Valentine's Day being alone, don't. Because, you know, candy's going to be half off tomorrow. And that's the best thing about the holiday anyway, right? Of course, so is having the money to actually buy some. <laughs> There's actually this, uh, I'm good. I think I'm going to buy myself a balloon. It's, um, it's this, it's this little, it's this octopus with all these little candy hearts. He's awesome. He's five dollars. He'll be, he'll be two and a half tomorrow, if there's still any left, um, because I think we only got like three of them. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is it doesn't? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Valentine's Day. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, the other 364 days of the year. Being single doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, it doesn't have to be. You know, like. I don't know. It it's just kind of. It would be better if you would focus on the loves that you do have, you know. I mean, I learned that lesson early on. I mean, we could go into a whole other topic when it comes to my father, but you know, like I learned who matters and who doesn't, you know. And it's just like I know who cares about me, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people care about me, and it's. I mean, maybe it's harder for some people. Maybe some people don't, you know, may, maybe they don't have, um, maybe they don't have anyone in their life that seems like it cares about them, and that's, I mean, that's kind of, like, that's sad, but, like, I would hope those people would search out, like, some kind of group, I mean, you know, even church, if you want to go to church somewhere to find acceptance, you know, where people will love and care about you, that's a good place to go, you know, or like a, like a, boys, you know, uh, boys and girls town, isn't there something like that? Some kind of like big brothers, big sisters, you know, I understand that's for, you know, younger people, but, um, you know, it, it, if you don't feel like you have people in your life that care about you, maybe take a, take a deeper look at the way people, you know, treat you and what people do for you. And, uh, you know, I guess if you don't have anybody like that, find somebody because like you can, you know, like I said, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big, <laughs> I'm not a big church going person, but I know there's a lot of, of nice caring people there that, you know, even as a perfect stranger, they will love you. There's people out there that love and care about you. You know, maybe you have to search them out to find them, but you know, they're out there. Just look for them. You know, they may, they may not be as far as you think. It may be pretty close. You may not have to go very far at all. So, I don't know. It's just, that that's the kind of the message that I wanted to get out there today. That, like, and I, 
I have a tendency to ramble and I apologize. <laughs> so I think I may have hit on like 80 other different topics, but you know, that's what being alone is okay. You know, you don't have to, you know, I mean, even if do something for yourself today, if that's the way that you have to do it, you know, I mean, if that's the way you have to do it, you know, or, you know, just be a strong person and realize that, you know, you're okay who you are. I mean, if you're not like raping and murdering people, you know, I mean, you're, you're still a good person. So if, if you, you know, I mean, maybe you don't feel like you're contributing much to this world, but you may, you may not even know your impact, you know, you never know. You never know. So my God, I hope I have said everything that I wanted to say. <laughs> um, but I mean, just who gives a shit? Like I said, if it's Valentine's Day, if you're alone any day of the year, it, it really doesn't matter. Just start, you know, I was one of those people that I never thought, like, I take myself on dates. I don't have that, uh, I don't have that uploaded yet, but there's this, um, you know, just go out to dinner and a movie by yourself. It, it may be weird at first, you know, um, but, you know, like I said, do something for yourself. If you, if you have no one else and you just lament the day and you just can't stand it, whatever, take yourself on a date. Do something for you, you know, because you deserve it. So, anyway, I hope no matter who you spend the day with, um, me, it's going to be my cats and the birds who are very loud right now, um, and probably the back of my eyelids, because <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's Tuesday for me, technically, because last night was my Monday, so my sleep schedule is a little off from the weekend, but um, I hope you are able to enjoy the day, or, I mean, just let it pass like it doesn't matter, because, I mean be honest, it really doesn't. So, <laughs> like, Valentine's Day, like, it, you know, going through this special effort, I understand lives get busy and it's hard to, it's hard to, uh, you know, it's hard to focus on your relationship sometimes, but it's like, yeah, that's something you should be doing all throughout the year. You shouldn't need one day a year to, you know, <laughs> to, to give your relationship some some oomph, you know, like, that's shit you should be doing the whole year, you know, but whatever. Um, however you spend the day, even if you're dropping your camera, I hope it's, it's just happy and productive and you enjoy whatever or whoever you do.